After the worst humanitarian crisis the state has ever seen, there is some respite for the state of Kerala. The red alert has been withdrawn from all flood-ravaged districts of the state. Now, the alert status has been downgraded to yellow in only three districts. The yellow alert, which indicates relatively lower risk, has been issued in Induki, Koikode and Kannur districts. Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan thanked the centre for assistance while indicating that the rescue operations are in the last stage. He added that now they must concentrate on rebuilding houses in the state. And Finance Minister of Kerala, Thomas Isaac, spoke to Mirror now about the lack of funds to rebuild Kerala. Let's listen in. Is the government of Kerala sufficiently funded for this uh, entire operation? There was a suggestion by the chief minister that he had asked for 2,000 crore rupees but received 500 crore rupees from the central government. Do you have enough funds? Do you need people to donate more funds? What is the scene? What is the... Um, the situation of the funding of the relief work? No, let me tell you, we don't have sufficient funds. As this, unfortunately, our expectation of GST has not proved to a mirage. Um, everybody thought Kerala is going to benefit a hell of a lot. Hmm. Um, but it's just not. Therefore, we have a big revenue deficit. Um, so we are finding it difficult. Um, because, you know, for example, let me put it this way. Uh, more than like houses have been uh, washed away or broken down. You now, Kerala, our housing program is for like per house. Just look at the cost of rebuilding these houses or so uh, or cleaning up the place. Um, the the uh, roads, um, what has happened is that few years they washed away all the roads. Uh, and therefore, road itself will come to restoration, something like 10,000 crores of rupees. Mm. That is our estimate. So it's a huge expenditure. Meanwhile, many rumors are being circulated on social media regarding the floods that have hit Kerala. Mirror now's editor in chief, Pedro Souza, dispelled them all. Let's listen in. We've put together a rumor versus truth to let you know what is really happening. First of all, the first rumor that has done the rounds on Twitter is that Onam has been cancelled by the state government. Now, first of all, Onam cannot be cancelled. If you choose to celebrate Onam in your house, nobody can stop you. You cannot cancel Onam. What the government has done is that it has postponed the government celebrations of Onam because of rescue and relief that's happening right now. But we do understand that a lot of people across the world from Kerala have chosen not to celebrate Onam this year because they have relatives, they have loved ones and their state is in distress. The second rumour that the Mulaparia Dam is developed cracks and it might crack and open completely. This rumour is completely baseless. The dam has not developed any cracks and there is no risk whatsoever. And uh, we've picked this up also from Boom which is a fact checker who have told us that they have checked on the ground and there is no such risk. The third rumour that the State Electricity Board, the KSEB, will shut down operations completely. We've checked again with employees of the KSEB. They're working relentlessly to try and restore electricity as quickly as possible. But in order to avoid danger during floods, they have in some cases, uh, they have cut the electricity to avoid electrocution. This is also from Boom, the fact checker. Rumor, ne the next rumor is that there is a cell phone number doing the round saying this is the Navy rescue helicopter phone number. This is not true. The Navy rescue helicopter has no phone number. The Navy doesn't take direct calls. If you need to make a call, you have to make it to the Disaster Management Authority. Phone numbers are on our screen. Also, there was an imposter who put up a horrible uh, WhatsApp uh, audio that said that Kerala does not need money, that Kerala does not need any articles, we don't need your charity, we can manage on our own, we need electricians. He, this is uh, completely false as we have spent the last hour and a half establishing Kerala needs all the help that you can give it. Uh, in fact, we've now got the Indian Army refuting this person saying he's an imposter wearing the Army combat uniform in the video spreading wrong information about rescue and relief Every effort by the Indian Army is aimed to overcome this terrifying human tragedy. Do not fall for things you hear on WhatsApp. And our reporter Srija also brought us this report from Ernakulam. Remember where there has been uh, a dire shortage of medicines in the relief camps. Let's listen in.
Right now standing here at the Rajiv Gandhi Indo Stadium and we see this is one of the largest uh, collection centers here, uh, right here at uh, Nakulam. It is from this very location we understand it's dispatched and sent to at least uh, the people who in fact send out requests. Now that is what we have been told. So before that if I could just uh, come back to uh, the people over here who are coordinating. In fact actors are joining here. They are also in fact uh, coming out in the open trying to help and feed as much as people they can. So let me go across to actor Indrajit at this point in time so we wanted a clarity on the fact there is an audio clipping which is doing the rounds which says Kerala doesn't need help we don't need money is that true it's not true this is one of the biggest disasters Kerala has ever faced till now we need help at this point of time and this is a time when all of us have to stand together and help the state right so you this is one of the largest collection centers is what we understand and ca uh, can you give us a larger picture about how many people in the last nine days have you all been able to feed or reach out see uh, with the info I have I guess almost um, seven lakh twenty five thousand people have been displaced all over Kerala we have been catering to places see this rain started in Wayanad That's and right. slowly it uh, came down to Idiki and then Cochin it started get get flooding so basically all districts were flooded now we have been concentrating more on Ernakulam district but we have already supplied we have had so many supplies going out of this place to inside Kochi and outside as well okay. um, with the stats I have we have already supplied 750 tons of material uh, to camps and to affected areas inside Kochi, Kochi district and outside as well okay. uh, we have sent 250 trucks from here till today and this okay. is going to continue because this is just a starting phase where people need food and immediate materials. Uh, rehabilitation is going to take a long, long time. Absolutely. So this is going to be a never-ending I don't know when this is going to end, but Kerala is in need of help. Well, that, that's exactly what you got from, in fact, uh, uh, Indrajit over here. Now, going back to Purnima now, can, we, uh, can you give us a larger picture as far as, you know, we understand more than 7 lakh people have been fed. Now, can you give us a sequence of events from where does all these consignment come? So far, which are the states who have contributed? Um, you just saw a uh, truck was loaded from Chennai, um, Trichinapalli actually, from, then from Chennai. Um, we are getting stuff from Hyderabad. Tomorrow we are uh, getting stuff from Bombay. Tuesday we are offloading something. It's been airdropped from Calcutta, I believe. So it's actually from all over. So and do you have enough food? That's the question. Do we ever have enough food? And that too in a place where it's seven and a half yeah, lakh sure. people have been, you know, completely uh, taken away. Their houses have been taken away. The food is something which the only thing we don't have. It's...